Shake, 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 shake that ass. Hey everybody, F Bomb Fitzgerald defending as the demo man on Dust Bowl. Honestly, when I'm on red team on Dust Bowl, I never really have more fun than when I play as demo man. It's kind of gotten to the point where I need to mix it up a little bit more, and rather than playing another class, I'll just change which demo weapons I use. So today I'm using the Scottish Resistance which is one of those underrated weapons in my opinion that people just don't bother to learn or they play with for a day and then kind of give up on it because it's not as immediately useful or versatile as a stock sticky bomb. But once you start kind of figuring out its nuances, it's got a real place in the game. Oh god, we're taking a lot of hits there. But yeah, I feel like if you're good at setting traps, if you've got a little bit of patience, and if you really take advantage of the fact that you can put out 14 stickies at a time, and you don't have to detonate all of them at once, you can really lock down choky maps in particular. It is a little weird though how this weapon really only shines on defense. I'm kind of hard pressed to think of many other weapons like that where it kind of only works in one direction. So I get why people prefer using the other sticky launchers because they are a lot more balanced in terms of offense and defense. The other stat that makes this a little challenging to use and also a little frustrating to use is the increased arm time on the stickies. So when you're getting rushed down by a scout or like a bombing soldier, it's a lot harder to throw a sticky down to deter them and get them off of you. Oh, got some critzes here. Yeah, this is also not as good of a sticky launcher for critzes because of that arm time. Ah, oh, and they got us. But yeah, it's not a useless sticky launcher to use with Kritz Krieg, especially because you have those 14 stickies you can put down. So during setup time, you can really lay some nasty traps. And even when you're fighting with it, if you can shoot the stickies behind the enemy and then scare them off with your primary, you can still get a lot of really good damage out with it. And I was trying to bait him into my stickies, but that wasn't going to work. Alright, managed to drop a medic at least, so, so that, again, that kind of illustrates the point that if you can leave crit stickies on the battlefield, it'll pay off. Alright, just gonna try and clear out their nest so they can't do the trick of standing on their dispenser and then building through the window. And we push them to their spawn. The Scottish Resistance is kind of weird weapon for stickying a spawn because the slower arm time in one way makes it a little harder to uh, ensure you have constant damage but on the other hand if you put down a fake trap you can use a second trap to kind of bait them out oh my god that pyro is relentless all right didn't save them though did feel a little bad about pushing them to their spawn on the other hand you know they're running crits on offense instead of stock uber so that's kind of on them for making a bad decision Ooh, and there's a little bit of a streak Selfishly, I'm kind of hoping we hold them at this point for another few minutes, then let them cap it and drop back, and then maybe I can get a real serious streak going. Second spot. Okay. Yeah, they're still not running stock Uber. I don't really know what their plan is. Maybe they don't have one. Ooh, a banner actually is pretty nice too. Pretty much everything I said about the crits applies to the buff banner as well. So one of the trickier things for me with the Scottish Resistance is having the right amount of traps. I feel like if you are not having at least two traps, then you're basically not using the weapon to its fullest potential. Because if you're only detonating a single set of stickies, why not use any of the other launchers which have faster arm time? On the other hand though, I find that if you have more than three traps, that's just way too much to keep track of, and I've never really seen people do that effectively. I find two to three traps is ideal. 
I know people joke that playing Demo Man is like Reload Simulator, and the Scottish Resistance is by far the worst for that, where reloading 14 stickies and 4 pills can just sometimes feel like a full-time job. And I got the godlike, so let's check my eyes. Nice. So the other thing that's kind of cool and unique about the Scottish Resistance is you can see your pills through walls. And you can have a lot of fun with that because if you see your stickies moving, like they're being air blasted or jostled by another demo man using their stickies to move it, then you can focus your attention on it and detonate. And that's something you can't do with stock. So that's a pretty cool advantage. Oh my god, he turned the corner. All right, let's get aggressive at their spawn. Oh no, they, this is bad. Oh god, they're counter Ubering. And this is a weakness of the Scottish. Oh my god, I can't believe I got out. That's crazy that the streak didn't end there. And I was even able to get some kills on the way out. Yeah, I wasn't even watching for that one. That was just a blind bet. But yeah, so the slower arm time on the Scottish stickies definitely make it a little harder to sticky jump out of a bad situation. So if you don't have a medic and you think you might need to retreat, you have to kind of choose your situations a little more closely or have a escape sticky already down in place uh, with that specific goal in mind of getting yourself to safety. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you think of the Scottish Resistance. If there's any other situations I didn't cover where it shines or is particularly bad. But yeah, I personally like the weapon a lot as a change of pace sometimes. Ooh, 30 streak. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you to everybody who subscribed. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.